talking about something that I really like. Oh, yeah. Today we will be talking about cooking. As simple as it may seem, cooking is not really a difficult thing. Yeah. So I want you to know that uh, I have started cooking since I was maybe eight, eight years old. Yeah. So, you know, if, if you're thinking about trying out cooking, maybe you can try uh, starting cooking because it's not really that difficult, yeah? But before we go there, I would like to say hello and thank you very much for joining us. And this is a uh, conversation class. We are going to talk. Hopefully I got some uh, people already joining and maybe you can contribute to the show later, yeah? Uh, again, if you would like to say, hi or you want to answer questions ask questions anything write it down in the chat section yeah silakan tulis di chat section i'm going to uh, mix the language between indonesian and english but mostly i will use english um apa ya oh ya karena masih dalam masa pandemi jadi kita belajar di rumah aja ya dan belajar online bareng yon adalah yang paling pas jangan lupa untuk selalu cuci tangan mengenakan masker menjauhi kerumunan, menjaga jarak dan mengurangi mobilitas. Dengan mengurangi mobilitas, kita nggak kemana-mana dan nyebarin penyakit. Ya kan? Oke okay, guys, uh, cooking, 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 cooking. Ya, yeah. um, I have, I've, I've really, how can I say, I have a really big passion for cooking. I'm not a chef, of course. Uh, it's not my profession. I only cook for hobby. But like I said, I have been cooking since I was eight years old. So if you're thinking about trying to, you know, helping out your mom and dad uh, in the kitchen, cooking something, please go out there and make sure you pay attention, make sure you listen to mom and dad, what you should do. Why? Because there's a lot of, you know, quite dangerous objects in the kitchen, but as long as you know how to use it and you play it safe, you'll be safe. Ya, yeah. uh, Mister juga punya anak. I have a six years old son, and even when uh, he's six, I already asked him to go uh, to the kitchen with me and we cook something. Ya, yeah. I always say to him, son, don't be afraid. Come and help my, uh, come and help me prepare my cooking. And here's what you can do. Here's what I will do. So I usually cut the meat. I cut the vegetables. And then I ask my son, here, you process this, or here, uh, you put some salt and pepper on it. I, I want him to learn how to cook even since he was very young. Because cooking is very basic skill, you know? Uh, a lot of people say that cooking is only for women, but it's not true. I think nowadays everyone can cook. Matter of fact, lots of the world's most famous chefs and international uh, cooks are actually men. Although there's a lot of also um, spectacular and amazing female chefs, yeah? So it's for everyone, really. If you like cooking, you like cooking, that's it. So uh, today, let's go to our material. And it's something quite fun because we're gonna learn vocabularies. We're gonna learn a lot later, yeah? Let's find out what I got here. Ah, uh, let's go to the material right now. I'm going to share the screen with you. It's the cooking one. Okay, here we go. We got it here. And uh, already said. Oh, wait a minute. I think let's share once again. Yeah. Uh, I need to stop this one first. Hmm? Uh huh. Here we go. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gotta press this one and then that one. Yes. Whoop. Okay. As you can see on your screen, you can see now it's cooking. I got it on my screen here on my back. Take a look at the picture. <laughs> Take a look at that picture. What is going on there? Can you see the one behind me? Yeah. There. Or on your screen. Cooking. Look at that. What is he doing? <laughs> well, uh, I think both you and me know she's cooking, yeah? Uh, once again, kalau mau menjawab, bisa ditulis 
di bagian chat ya. Auron, Mister uh, terbesar layarnya biar bisa kelihatan semuanya. Cooking. Oke. Okay. Well, first of all, I would like to say to you, whatever she's doing in the photo, you may not want to try it. <laughs> Please don't do exactly the same as in the photo. Why? Because first of all, look at it. She's holding this. What do you call it? Uh, we have we call it Dutch oven or uh, or a pan, yeah, or a pot. Yeah, actually, a pot with her hands, and she hugs it. We both know that it's probably hot, yeah. So don't do it because if you hold a hot pot, you'll get burned, yeah. Jadi hati-hati, jangan pegang atau memeluk uh, apa namanya itu ya wajah apa tempat masak seperti itu ya panas. And the second one, <laughs> look what she's doing. She's licking it, yeah. Dijilat itu, pakai uh, ladle-nya dia masukin, lalu dijilat. Oh God, that is not nice. <laughs> you know, think about the feeling of people who's going to use the same ladle after you, after you licked it. And <laughs> Jadi mungkin sebaiknya nggak uh, langsung dimakan gitu ya, ditaruh di sendok, ya. Yeah. Or you put it on a pan, you put it on a bowl or a plate, and then you sample it. Yeah, don't just drink from it right away. Other than it's hot, it's also not nice. Okay, let's go to the next page. Right, we are going to go straight away to this one here. I'm going to enlarge it. Right here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not showing. Hold on, let me try once again, yeah. Oh, there's something coming out from there. Hmm. Let's see, there is a bit of a problem here. Okay, I'm going to try again, guys. Uh, I want to show you something. I want to show you the pictures of vegetables, but before we go there, Why don't we talk a little bit first? Okay, I want to ask you, do you know the difference between fruit and vegetables? Okay, how many fruits and vegetables do you really know? Okay, so, kita akan main game seperti ini. Mister akan menyebutkan nama buah atau sayuran. And all you have to do is just write down the chat and mention whether it's a vegetable or fruit, ya. Yeah? Gampang banget ya, Mister akan sebutin nama buah atau sayuran, ya. Yeah. But you have to write down in the chat section, tulis di bagian chat dan tebak apakah itu fruit atau buah or vegetables atau sayur. Oke, okay. siap. Let's go with five, ya. Yeah. Lima dulu. Number one, uh, carrot. Aha, carrot. Ada yang tahu nggak? Carrot is that a fruit or is that vegetable? Silakan tulis di bagian chat. Is carrot a fruit or is that a vegetable? We have Nur Afrida. Hello Nur Afrida, and you answer vegetable. That is correct. Carrot, ya, walaupun warnanya uh, orange dan mungkin uh, apa namanya bentuknya seperti buah, it is actually a vegetable. So yes. Carrot is actually vegetable. Okay, good one. Now, number two. Okay, apple is apple a vegetable or a fruit? Hmm. This should be very easy. Is apple a vegetable or fruit? Nah, apple itu apa sih? Sayur atau buah? Oh. Let's say, ada yang jawab belum? Ada. Do I think they also say that it's fruit? Yes, apple is actually fruit. And here's a little fact about about apple. Yeah, uh, garlic. You know what garlic is? Bawang putih. Yeah, garlic actually have the same taste with apple. Yes, garlic atau bawang putih itu punya rasa yang sama dengan apple. What's the difference? The difference is the smell. Baunya yang membedakan. Jadi bau apel seperti itu, bau uh, apa namanya bawang putih, you know, just like garlic. 
but those the smell ya yeah, tapi uh, apa namanya baunya itu it's what make it difference and it sounds jadi baunya itu bukan hanya memberi rasa tapi juga memberi uh, apa ya namanya ya membedakan padahal sebenarnya kalau kalian nggak mencium baunya apel dan bawang putih rasanya sama seriously <laughs> vegetable mister yes oke okay. good good oke okay. Now let's go with number three. Aku Mister belum bilang garlic loh. Garlic itu kan tadi cuma contohnya buat fruit ya. Jadi Mister baru punya carrot and then apple and then number three. Nah, number three is tomato. Tomato ada yang bilang tomato, ada yang bilang tomato, sama aja ya. I'm saying tomato. Coba tomato, tomato, tomat. Is that a fruit or a vegetable? Nah, Mister mau tahu. Siapa yang tahu? Is tomato a fruit or vegetable? <laughs> ada yang bilang fruit. Wah, Dorafida bilang bahwa tomato adalah fruit. Oke. Okay. Ada lagi mungkin tomato, tomato is that a fruit or vegetable? Tomat itu buah apa sayur ya? Kenapa kalau dia buah jarang kita lihat di tukang buah, tapi lebih sering di tukang sayur? <laughs> Tapi kenapa kita sebut buah tomat? Tenot. Ya kan? Kalau di bahasa saya kan orang bilang, ah, buah tomat gitu. Jadi sebenarnya tomat itu buah atau sayur. <laughs> Now, um, thank you very much for everything yang udah jawab fruit ya. However, a lot of people believe that tomato can be both. It can be a fruit and it can also be a vegetable. Ya. So tomato itu bisa jadi sayur dan bisa jadi buah. Oke, okay? it depends on how you process it. Jadi kalau misalkan dipotong-potong buat sayur ya udah, atau buat sop then it become vegetable. But if you eat it raw and you know maybe you add some sugar atau mungkin langsung dimakan mentah, ya yeah, then it become fruit. Oke, okay? so tomato works for both. Nah, another thing. Then it's almost the same. That will be number four. Banana. Is banana a fruit or vegetable? Now this one, you might guess this, but it's actually that. Okay. Banana is a fruit or vegetable? Okay. Not uh, everybody, thank you very much for answering. Banana. Is fruit, you say. However, banyak yang bilang bahwa banana is not actually fruit. It's actually a vegetable. No, I'm not lying. Banana itu sebenarnya adalah sayur. Yeah, it's actually part of the fruit. That's why you can make a, apa ya a soup or a, a dish out of the heart. Ya kan jantung pisang itu bisa dipotong and then you can chop it into a, a, a food kan. Nah, banana itself. Sebenarnya ada dua jenis in uh, in this world. We have banana and we have plantain. Banana itu yang kalau kalian potong melintang ya di tengahnya, potongannya berbentuk bulat. That is banana. Nah, kalau kalian potong di tengah, bentuknya segi lima, you know, misalnya kotak-kotak gitu, that's not a banana. It's called a plantain. Plantain, yes. It's called plantain. What's the difference, Mister? Yes, basically plantain itu adalah banana yang rasanya sedikit asin atau sepat kalau orang bilang ya. Nah, di beberapa belahan dunia, like in Cuba or in uh, South America, Central America, in Caribbean, a lot of people are actually cooking with plantain. So if you eat steak, if you eat apa beef stew gitu, biasanya ada Fried plantain itu, itu bukan pisang goreng, tapi adalah plantain goreng. Mungkin kalau di sini hampir kayak pisang apa gitu ya, pisang yang bentuknya uh, you know the green ones with sharp edges. It's not, it kind of look like banana, but it's not exact, exactly banana. It's called plantain. There you go. That's number four. Number five, last one. Is it a fruit or is it vegetable? And the question is. <laughs> no, not yet. But this one is 
but this one is quite a serious question. Okay, is it a fruit or is it flexible? Okay, the question is pear. Pear, P E A R. Is it a fruit or is it vegetable? Buah atau sayur? Pear. Gampang nah, kan? Ayo, coba silakan jawab. Please answer in the chat section whether pear is a fruit or is it a vegetable. Apakah pear itu sayur atau buah? Buah kan? Karena Mister tadi barusan cerita tentang banana, kalian jadi aduh, iya enggak ya? Oh, jangan jangan misal, oh uh, no no. But anyway, just try. Try to answer. What do you think? Pendapat kalian apa? Apakah pear itu fruit atau itu uh, vegetable? Oh, banana. <laughs> vegetable. Yes. Uh, thank you, Nur Evrida lagi. Pear is indeed fruit. Ya, yeah. pear itu benar-benar buah. Dan Mister belum pernah menemui ada makanan yang pakai pear. Ya, yeah. maksudnya sayur yang pakai pear. However, however, <laughs> buah pear sering diolah ya, yeah, and they turned it into a sauce. Dirubah jadi saus. One of the most famous sauce that is using pear and actually mangoes and uh, some other ingredients is the sweet and sour sauce. Ya, yeah, kalau di barat atau di negara-negara kayak Amerika, selain saus barbecue, kalau kamu pesan makanan kayak chicken nugget, buffalo wings, french fries, you can ask for a sauce. The sauce is sometimes a barbecue sauce or the sweet and sour sauce. Now, that sweet and sour sauce is actually using pear. Jadi buah pear juga digunakan dalam masakan untuk dijadikan saus. Now you know. Great ya. Yeah? Oke, okay, kita kembali ke material. I guess I can share the screen now with you. Ah, ini dia tadi. Here we go. Right. If you look here, sorry. If you look here, you can see some uh, vegetables, and these ones are actually some that we can find here in Indonesia, and some others are also easily found in the Western Hemisphere, atau di negara-negara Barat. We are going to listen to the audio on how to say them. Ya, kita akan dengarkan uh, gimana. cara mengucapkan buah-buahan tersebut ya kebetulan ini Mister ada temennya Mister yang uh, sudah me what do you call it? sudah membacakan nama-nama buah tersebut ya we gonna listen to it and I think it's this one four unit five cooking stir it fry it task five Oke, Mister. Oke, Mister. Uh, ulang lagi ya. Tadi audionya kayaknya belum ke, belum kedengeran. Oke, okay, I'm going to. Oh, sorry. That was not what I need. Stop, 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 stop. That was not what I need. I need this one. And. Unit 5. Cooking. Stir it. Fry it. Task 5. Frying pan. Rolling pin. Ladle. Pepper shaker. Itu buat yang pertama. See which one buat yang pertama. This one? Ini? S day, grade four, unit five. Cooking, stir it, fry it. Task one. Tomato, cucumber, basil, bell pepper, dill, peas, corn. Eggplant, carrot, pumpkin, cabbage, potato, 
chili pepper, parsley, champignon, beans, salad. Yeah. Tadi sudah dibacakan. Kita akan bacakan sekali lagi. Uh, ya. uh, this one here is tomato. Okay. Kalian di rumah bisa menurunkannya bersama Mister ya. Bersama-sama. One, two, three. Tomato. Okay. This one is cucumber. Okay. You can say it. cucumber. Next one we have basil. Basil. Basil ini kayak kemangi. And then we have bell pepper. Bell pepper. Kalau di sini orang bilang paprika, tapi uh, kalau di luar negeri orang nyebutnya bell pepper. Ada nggak ini buat paprika? Ada. Paprika is actually the red bell pepper. Yeah? So this one is bell pepper, karena bentuknya kayak loncengan itu, maka namanya bell pepper. And then we have dill. Nah, ini mungkin nggak banyak di Indonesia ya. Dill. And then we have peas. Ini kacang bolong. We have corn, as you can see, jagung ya, corn. And then we have eggplant. Nah, eggplant ini adalah yang kalau ujungnya menggembung. Kalau yang panjang, ya, panjang lurus, itu namanya aubergine. Itu bahasa Perancis, tapi juga dipakai di bahasa Inggris, aubergines. But you can always say eggplant, mereka ngerti kok, jangan khawatir. And then carrot. Ya, ini sama aja dimanapun, carrot, wortel. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, nah pumpkin ini labu ya. Si ini juga bell pepper lagi, bell pepper. And then we have cabbage, kubis. Wah ini tadi tadi pagi Mister goreng kubis nih. And then we have potato. Some people say potato, some people say potato. Nggak masalah, Mister mengucapkannya potato. Oke, okay? kentang, potato. And then we have chili pepper, chili pepper. And then parsley, parsley. Nah, ini bukan mushroom ya. <laughs> mushroom itu nama jenis-jenis jamur. Yang jamur yang ini jamur kancing namanya. We call it champignon, ya. Yeah. Champignon, that's French, but you can also say champignon. Yeah. Champignon. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Beans. Ya, yeah, ini juga kacang-kacangan ya beans. And then we have salad. Kalau nah, salad itu udah gabungan bermacam-macam sayur. Oke, paham ya? Next, let's talk about protein. What is the protein? Oke, okay. protein adalah zat yang dibutuhkan untuk tubuh. It's the one of the uh, essential nutritions that our body need. And you can get protein from a lot of things. However, uh, most of them you can find from both meat and also vegetables. Nah, mereka berdua sangat berbeda, but we definitely need protein for uh, for our health, for grow up and also for cell regeneration, ya. Yeah? Nah, these here are different kinds of proteins. We have shrimp atau udang. Ini adalah protein uh, hewani ya. Oke, okay, so let's see. Can you name any other protein sources? In here we see shrimp Oats, lentils, lentils ini kacang, kacang apa ya? Kacang Arab gitu kali ya. Uh, oats ini biji gandum, and then we have broccoli, you know what broccoli is? Cheese, hmm, yum yum. Avocado is also protein source. Chicken is definitely protein source. Tofu, peas, kacang polong, eggs, protein sources. Almonds, salmon, milk, dan beef. Hmm, yeah. sangat enak sekali. <laughs> so, can you name any other protein sources? Bisa nggak kalian menyebutkan uh, sumber protein lainnya? Hmm, 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 hmm. Can you name any other protein sources? Silakan tulis di chat kalau kalian tahu uh, makanan ya yang mengandung protein lainnya. Oke, okay. I'm going to say one. It's, sudah ada X. I'm gonna say soya beans atau kacang kedelai. So basically all uh, soya related products like tofu, tempe, uh, soya milk, ya, yeah, they all have very rich in protein. Ada lagi mungkin yang tinggi protein selain uh, ini? 
Mister tuh pernah dikasih tahu sama uh, one of my friends told me uh, that friend of mine used to be a survivalist. Survivalist means someone who trains and help people to survive in dangerous situations. He said to me, Gabe, Mister Gabe, you know that uh, worms touching tanah itu, it's very high in protein actually. And I was like, Yeah, really? Yes. So if you are lost, uh, if you are in the jungle and you don't find anything to eat, if you can find worm, you can eat it because there's a lot of protein in it. So I was like, yeah, I'm not sure about it. Call it if you hold it and it wiggles, gwing, 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 and then you put it in your mouth, gwing, gwing, ah, no. You know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go uh, and eat some worms. I'm gonna call food delivery inside. Hello, I'm in the middle of a jungle. Can you send me a pizza right now? That solved my problem, man. <laughs> If they cannot go with motorbike, send it by drone. If they cannot send a drone, send me by uh, send the food to me by helicopter. Drop it with uh, with passing Hercules or airplane, whatever. I need that. Yeah, just one phone call away. I'm gonna have a pizza. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Okay, uh, some other uh, protein sources. Ah, Turki, ya, kalkun, it's also good, and then ini baru ada salmon, beef, goat, belum ada ya, atau lamb, daging kambing ya, uh, some other really good protein sources are fish, especially fish that lives in the deep sea, ya, because they have fat, they have natural fat, and this fat is actually healthy, uh, if you have probably heard omega-3 fat, uh, good lipid, ya, Those are also the kinds of, you know, the good fat that we need. So not only salmon, if you can get like a tuna, atau mungkin, uh, apa namanya, cod, yeah? those are really good ones. Yogurt, yes. Thank you, everybody. Yogurt is also good because, anyway, yogurt is a processed form of milk. Jadi, misalnya ada milk kan ya. Yeah? So milk, cheese, yogurt like you said. And then uh, mungkin lassi, yeah. lassi itu semacam yogurt, smoothie, ice cream, and everything that is processed with milk is actually uh, high and rich in protein. So yeah, go for it. Good one. Yep. Because anyway, if you're still young, you will need a lot of protein to grow up. Uh, I become really big, maybe because I eat a lot of protein. Yeah. I, uh, you know what? I actually probably eat everything. So not just protein, but everything. Everything on the screen. I know. There we go. That's why I got so big. Okay. Uh, is there any question? I don't think so. Yeah. So let's just go to the next page. Right. In our next page, we have baking ingredients. Hmm. So as you can see here, we see a lot of baking ingredients. Today we're gonna learn a lot of vocabulary, like I said. So if you like baking, do it. This is one of the things that I'm not really good at. I'm absolutely bad at baking. I'm not really good at making cakes, breads, what else? Um, pastries, it's my weakness. I'm very bad at either burn it or turn it into mush or wreck it. It's not, it's not exactly something that you should eat. Eh? It's something that you should take a photo and then put Uh, put that on the internet as a meme. <laughs> that bad. Okay, we have soda here in baking ingredients. This one is called baking soda ya. Jadi baking soda ini gunanya untuk mengembangkan uh, adonan. So when you have the dough, dough itu adonannya ya, and then you net, net itu di ulen, di, ya, ulen kan gak salah namanya, bahasa Indonesia. You net it, and then you pour baking soda, so it expands. Sugar, sugar is to sweeten, and it's also give the caramel, uh, apa namanya, karakteristik to whatever you're making. And then you have flour, ya, yeah, tepung. Ini bacanya hampir sama kayak bunga, flour. Bedanya gini, bunga dibaca flour, flour, bunyinya rendah. Tapi kalau tepung, flour, unya, apa, unya melayang, flour. So, different between flour and flour, oke? Okay? Next we have eggs. I think you know what it is. Telur. Raisins. My favorite. Raisins are really good. If you make a cake or bread, just add extra raisin in it. Sweet. 
amazing. You can add honey, raisins, sultanas, ya, semacam kayak buah anggur kecil-kecil itu. It's also great. Cinnamon atau kayu manis ya. Ini yang udah uh, dijadikan powder. This is the powdered cinnamon and this is the actual uh, cinnamon. And we have butter. Nah, what is the difference between mentega, Mister? Butter and mentega. Mentega itu margarine ya bahasa Inggrisnya. It's actually different. What is the difference? Butter, you made butter out of milk. Jadi butter itu begini dari susu. Susu diaduk sampai mengental. But margarine, you made it from palm oil. Dibuat dari minyak kelapa sawit. Gimana? Sama-sama duduk sih sampai kental juga gitu. But those are the difference. Uh, margarine, it's cheaper than butter. Butter lebih mahal karena terbuat dari susu. Kalau buat masak, sama-sama enak sih tergantung but I prefer butter because it smells really nice and then we have apa lagi ya vanilla ah buah apa uh, biasanya tangkai vanilla ya yang dipakai itu buat pewangi and then dough dough itu adonannya and then of course you have uh, what is that uh, vinegar atau cuka salt garam milk susu uh, some olive oil di sini ya These are really good. We love baking. What about you? Hmm. I love baking too. It's just that I'm not good at it. <laughs> okay. First, take a look at this one. This is our task. Complete the word and then match the word with the picture. Number one, sudah dikerjakan buat kalian. Cheese. Okay. Coba kita kerjakan. Number two, what is that? Tengahnya ada huruf M. Hmm. Anyone have any idea? Number two? Tengahnya ada M. I need your help, guys. I cannot do it myself. <laughs> Write down in the chat section. Help me. Nanti mister akan tulis di layar. Dan kalian bisa save gambarnya. But let me try my instinct. Number two. I have a feeling that it's, it's a vegetable and maybe a fruit. I think it's probably red. It's probably a bit tangy. Agak, agak. I'm thinking that is probably a tomato. Bing, bing. Yes, that was right. I answered right. Thank you for sending me information through telekinetic. Number three. This is really not helping. Guys, if you can help me, write down any number here. And I'm going to write it down for you, yeah? Number three. I think it might smell nice once you finish cooking it. Beef, I guess. Yeah. You probably heard about Wagyu. Wagyu is the world's, according to some people, Wagyu is the world's most expensive beef. It's because the beef came from uh, certain cows yeah, in Japan, cattle and cows, the king sapi dari Jepang. And in the farm, they say that the cow, they get massage, and they get to eat good, drink really good, all natural. They still end up getting eat them anyway. So, <laughs> udah dirawat baik-baik, dipotong cah. People. Okay. I guess number four will be milk. Yeah. Ooh, number five. Who put the who put this? Who put this? <laughs> who put this logo on a kid's book? It's interesting. <laughs> but you, but it's familiar, yeah? It's actually flower. Flower. Yeah. Bung terigu, yeah. Okay. Next, we have, I guess, number six. Oh, gosh. Oh, that must be it. Sugar. Sugar. Yep. Okay, number seven. Oh, I know. I think this is the minion's favorite. Huh? Hold on. Oh no, it's not banana. I thought it was banana because I look at the banana. It's actually it's 
It's actually water. Water, water. 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 Number eight. Number eight will be, it has U in it, ada U-nya. So it's, uh, we got sugar already. We got cheese, that's not tomato. Belum pun ada banana, telur. Number nine, I know, number nine is eggs. And then number ten, oh, eggs belum because eggs is here. We only have this one. Is this cheese? No, it's not cheese. It's actually butter. Yeah. I just realized that. That kind of looks like cheddar cheese for me. Maybe I was hungry, right? I think I am hungry. I'm positive about that. I'm imagining this is cheese, which is not. It's actually butter, and I cannot eat butter. So, of course, the last one goes to here, and that's a banana. Banana. Yep. These are all the words here. All you need to know, you can uh, screenshot it and save it for your further reference. Yeah. Bisa disimpan buat referensi ke depan. Ready? We go to the next one. Oh, yay. All right. We're going to listen to it again. Nah, ini yang tadi Mr. Play di awal ya. Salah, Mr. Ini ada macam-macam. Alat masak. This is what we call kitchen utensils. Atau alat masak di dapur. Uh, ada berbagai jenis. Yeah. We are going to listen to the audio. And let's see what they say about this thing. Yeah. Uh, these devices that you can find in the uh, kitchen. S day, grade 4, unit 5. Cooking. Stir it. Fry it. Task 5. Frying pan. Rolling pin. Ladle. Pepper shaker. Kettle. Jug. Measuring cup. Corkscrew. Saucepan. Salt shaker, grater, cutting board, colander, spoon, bottle, fork, cup, spatula, plate, bread basket, knife. Teapot, whisk, pot holder. Okay, right. Tadi sudah dengar semuanya ya. Okay, nah sekarang kita ke task six. We gonna find these words here. Kitchen utensils. Ada blender, ada spoon, ada pots, ada pans, ada knife, ada ladle, ada oven dan fork. Okay. Uh, let's try. We're going to find the blender first. Oh, look, it's already here. <laughs> no effort then. Let's go to spoon. Karena blender udah ada, cerita coret. Spoon. Hmm. Spoon itu apa ya kalau bahasa Indonesia? Mungkin kita makan pakai itu ya. But I'm not really sure what that is. Yes, spoon is sendok. Yeah. You have to have a spoon <clears throat> if you want to eat. So it's here, spoon. Right, and then next we have pots. Pots atau uh, panci ya, panci besar. Ya. Let's see, where can we find pots? Hmm, aha, found it here. Oh. Next, pans. Pans atau panci ya, biasanya panci lebar. Wajan juga bisa, tapi wajan kalau ada pegangan namanya wok. And this one is pans. Biasanya yang Japan gitu yang sering dipakai buat chef. And this is pans. And knife. Hmm. <clears throat> knife itu pisau. Yeah. There are different knives in the kitchen, as you can see in the picture, as you can probably see in the picture above here. Here, uh, there are different kind of knives. Yeah. Uh, so we have, ini namanya cleaver atau meat knife. Ini namanya 
uh, sharp knife atau uh, pisau biasa and this one is called fake knife jadi gunanya beda-beda cleaver buat membelah uh, sharp knife uh, biasanya dipakai buat pemotong secara umum and then we have the meat knife atau uh, apa buat biasa buat motong dagingnya some people also say it's a fake knife okay go back to what we got here <coughs> oh ini tadi geser kayaknya right Now we need to find the ladder. Ladder, kalau orang bilang namanya apa ya? Yang buat sendok, you know, yang buat sendok sayur itu loh. I don't know what's the name in bahasa Indonesia. It's maybe Japanese, I know, maybe in Japanese I know seawor. <laughs> But I don't know about it in bahasa Indonesia. So let's just call it ladder, okay? Atau mungkin, maybe if your mom knows, Yeah, I don't know what uh, in in bahasa Indonesia lado. So let's go and find lado. Mana ya? Ini ada lado. Jelas bukan itu. So where is the lado? We got L and L here. Hmm. Let's do it later. I cannot find another L here. So let's go with oven. Ah, oven adalah alat yang dipakai untuk memasak dan biasanya bertekanan tinggi. So uh, oven will be This one, right? And so we have only one. Oh no, masih ada dua ya. We have fork. Fork itu garpu. Uh, I think it's very easy to find. That is here. That's fork. And so that leaves us with ladle, which is kind of a difficult. Ada yang tahu nggak ladlenya di mana? I think this may be it. Yeah, maybe this is it. But it's light, kurang L. Jadi kalau misalkan ini L ini E itu ladle jadi dia. But no, I cannot find it. This one is blender. No, 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 no. So there, no, no. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, uh, you can still say it and find uh, the words. And now let's go to the next page. Right. Okay. Now here are some of the most important cooking verbs that you need to know. Yeah, we have bake, we have wash, we have boil, we have eat, we have taste, we have slice, we have mix, and we have fry. Bake itu memanggang. Yeah. Uh, ada dua sebenarnya ada dua cara untuk menyebutkan kata memanggang dalam bahasa Inggris. One is bake dan biasanya kalau ini memanggang roti ya, jadi dalam oven gitu we call it bake. Kalau memanggang ayam atau membakar di atas api we call it grill. Ya, ada juga roast. Roast itu kalau apinya dari dua sisi, tapi kalau cuma satu grill. Nah kalau dipanggang dalam oven we call it bake. And then we have wash. Wash mencuci ya. Make sure to always wash everything that you are about to eat because you never know what's in it. Ya, yeah. kadang-kadang di dalamnya masih ada uh, kotoran atau mungkin bekas tanah. You might need to clean it. Ya, yeah. boil means merebus. You need to boil everything first and before you cook it to make sure that all the uh, apa namanya all the bacteria and virus are killed and uh, it's already safe. To be cooked. Next, we have eat. Well, this is the last thing that you should do once you finish cooking. You eat it. Taste. Nah, ini seperti eat ya, tapi cuma dikit aja. Taste itu artinya mencoba. Ya, taste yang dalam kata benda artinya selera, but taste ya kata kerja itu artinya mencicipi. Just try out a little bit. See if it's enough or you need salt or you need some extra pepper. Slice. Wah. Memotong. What's the difference between slice and cut? Well, cut is memotong sampai lepas. But slice is you cut clean through it. Yeah. And then we have mix, campur, and fry, menggoreng. Ya, yeah. fry biasanya menggoreng dengan minyak. Kalau menggoreng tidak dengan minyak biasanya kita sebut sebagai stir fry. Okay. What else can you do in the kitchen? Uh, well, basically in the kitchen, what I can usually do is we have bake, wash, boil, eat, taste, slice, mix. I can usually uh, 
apa ya baik kuda grill like I said grill roast ya kan tadi uh, we can also do that nah let's go to the task eight we're going to fill in the blanks with the word provided nah ini di sini ada cara membuat bruschetta ada yang tahu bruschetta bruschetta adalah roti khas dari Italia that you eat ya yeah, in small portions usually before you go for uh, apa ya for pasta ya yeah. Uh, orang menyebutnya kalau di Itali bruschetta itu adalah aperitivo atau makanan uh, pembuka. Some even some even call it an antipasto atau before you eat pasta ya yeah, you eat this first. Nah, uh, I'm hungry. Let's make some bruschetta. First, before we have bruschetta like this, all you have to do is you have to cut the bread. Yeah? When you cut the bread, you pour in some oregano, add some olive oil and salt and pepper. Yeah, chop the tomato and mozzarella. But which one we start first? We start with this one first. We cut mozzarella and tomato and chop them. After that, we pour atau tuangkan olive oil just a little bit and then salt and pepper and then we mix. Okay, and then we slice our bread, potong roti kita, slice our bread, and then fry it a little bit. Add oregano you can say add you can say sprinkle ya tergantung kalau oreganonya kering dan bubuk ya you sprinkle it and then you put the mix on top of the bread and it becomes bruschetta yay all right i guess that's it that's it it's already two o'clock uh one hour you guys been with me and it's my time to leave Thank you very much for uh, attending this conversation class. It's been a great honor for me to talk with you guys. And uh, we've been talking about cooking. I hope next time we can see each other again and we can talk about something else. Yeah, hopefully uh, something much more interesting than this one and something more fun where we can have a lot of fun, okay? Thank you very much, have a nice day. I'll see you again next time. I'm Mr. Gate signing out, bye.